The situation has many women looking outside state lines for abortions, and this comes as states like Illinois were already seeing an increase in out-of-state patients. In 2020, the state saw a 29% increase compared to the previous year. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael is here now with more. So, Olivia, what is the situation like outside of Tennessee? Yeah, that's right. Soon women in Tennessee may have to travel as far as Illinois or Indiana to get an abortion. So we spoke with clinics in those states and employees there tell us they've been inundated with calls. Faced with nowhere to go. Number of physicians, nurses and staff um, will be traveling to Illinois um, to help provide services across state lines. It could mean long car rides or even plane rides for women to receive an abortion. We have talked with our physicians about li getting themselves licensed in other states, and they've been working on that. In Tennessee, Planned Parenthood leaders say they will do everything they can to help women, even if it means traveling out of state. That's why we are 100% committed to making sure that finances and logistics don't stand in somebody's way to getting the health care that they need in another state. In Indiana, providers are ready to welcome those from states like Tennessee or Kentucky. Patients are reaching out all across this country to safe haven states. The Planned Parenthood CEO there says they've been preparing for this moment since the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion. We are starting to get patients who are so fearful of being able to get an abortion that they need. They are double and triple booking in multiple health centers in various different states just in case something happens and they're not able to get to one health center over another. She urges patients to reach out to their local clinics for support. Up until the very last minute that it is legally and lawfully allowed in the state of Indiana, Planned Parenthood will be here and we are not going to let our patients down. And that last minute could be soon. The Indiana state legislature is expected to hold a special session come July 6th, where the issue will most likely be taken up there too.